April the 2nd. I'm from Mount Lebanon. I'm 42 years old. I have my own painting business called Credivo Brothers Painting. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what else to talk about. No, that's all right. So, I mean, how long have you had your business for? 12 years. 12 years now. And how's business going? It's very good from March till about November, but December, January, February, it gets kind of rough. What's it like owning a small business nowadays? It's hit or miss. You can get outbid by, you know, a very small amount, and it uh, it's it's very hard to figure out where the best way to go with the prices. Um, you know, as as we get into this, the the prices of our products keep going up, and in return the we have to charge more and people don't want to pay more they want to pay less right so do you think that as a small business that you get outbid partially because these larger bidders pay less in taxes i think some of them do i think some of them uh they they pay less in taxes which means they don't have the huge overhead that we have at the end of the year um, even at the end of the month, um, we're very, uh, I, you know, the, the first thing that we look at whenever we're doing the bids is <coughs> the products. We have to figure out how much the price of the products are and then the labor. And if it goes over, you know, we get, we have to take the hit on the labor side of it if we don't bid the right way. And I think that the larger companies uh -oh. can... You know, they can kind of put that in their profit margins and not worry about it. Wow. Why do you think these bigger corporations are paying less? I think that the taxes are not... I think that they're, they get better discounts because they're bigger with the companies, with the government. They, they, it's not... It doesn't equal itself out. It, uh, you know, we're... A, you know, someone that's doing more jobs than I'm doing may make, uh, they'll make somebody that's doing more jobs than I'm doing will pay the same amount of taxes because the, the taxes are not equal when it comes to between small and even medium or big or large. They're they're kind of the same. And so you don't think they pay their fair share? In, in a respect, yeah. I don't think they pay their fair share. I think, you know, maybe they should pay more. And, you know, I'm, I think they should pay more for, you know, the taxes because they're, <laughs> we're trying to, to compete. We're trying to be, us as small businesses are trying to become the large businesses. And if I was as big as them, I would want to pay my fair share. But, Right now, you know, it's hard to get to that point because there isn't, there isn't a, um, I, I can't think of the word. There isn't a way to really get there because they have all these economic specialties going their way, yes. whether it's a tax break or give backs or loopholes. Exactly. So the small guy seems to be left out to dry while the big guys create a monopoly. Yeah, and you can see that in all businesses, not just, I mean, you know, mine's painting, but you can see it in all businesses. I mean, look at all the little hardware stores that used to be around, and there's only a few of them left because they're getting, because the Home Depots and the Lowe's are getting such big tax breaks from communities even, you know, and, and all the little guys are going out. And if you're not in that medium to large range, you're going to get, you know, mom and pops are pretty much going out. Yeah. Well, why do you think politicians are letting this happen? Because I think that they're they're getting their pockets padded with the the larger businesses, and the smaller businesses don't have the kind of clout and money to pad the pockets of the politicians. I mean, it's all you know. I always look at at, uh, at politics as whoever has the most money wins, and you know maybe sometime somewhere along the way there's there's a small guy that may sneak by and get in, but I think for the most part, the people that have the most money always win, yeah. and especially in small business, I think that's the same way. I think the people with the larger pockets that can, you know, 
outbid a person like me can win. You know, I mean, if I'm paying uh, forty dollars for a gallon of paint because I only use five thousand gallons of paint a year, and somebody else is using fifty thousand gallons of paint a year, they may get it for twenty dollars a gallon or twenty-five dollars a gallon, and that that fifteen dollars a gallon, that could if you're doing a job that has thirty gallons, that can be a savings of over three hundred and some, maybe even four hundred dollars, somewhere around there, and you know that can be the the difference between a two thousand dollar job and a sixteen hundred dollar job and they would get it because of that. Right. You know, they can lower their materials and keep their labor the same as us and they'll still win the bid because they're a heck of a lot lower. Um, how do you think we restore America to where it used to be mom and pop businesses and small businesses that ran this country? Well, I think that they need to lower the small business taxes, you know, and they need to lower the small business taxes. They need to raise the higher or the the high end businesses or the higher business, the larger businesses, and we need to try to equal it out so that we're not we're not paying as much as they are, and we're not losing all kinds of money because they're paying because we're paying just as much as them. I think that if, if they did something like that, I mean, I understand they're going to make more profits, you know, because they are larger companies, but you have to try to, you have to, try to get it to where it's equal for everybody. Mm -hmm. I think small businesses are, I think small businesses are what makes this, it made this country what it is, and the larger companies are coming in and just, they're getting all kinds of tax breaks, like I said, from communities, from the governments from everything and they're they're really not letting us grow and those people keep growing more because they're making more money mm -hmm. because their taxes aren't equal to what I feel their their taxes aren't equal to what they're making. Is there anything else you want to say? Uh, not at this time. I think I kind of covered it all. <laughs> yeah. You did an awesome job. Okay. That was awesome.